Hey, what's up? I'm Miranda with REI. Wearing a climbing helmet is an important part of keeping yourself protected at the crag, whether you're climbing or belaying. This will help protect your head from rock fall, from you falling and hitting your head on the rock, and just in general from banging your head on a rock. Let's talk about how to choose and how to fit a climbing helmet. There are two different types of helmets that you might find on the market. The first is going to be a hard shell helmet like I have here and here, and then the other is going to be a foam helmet like this one. Hard shell helmets are, generally speaking, less expensive and also a little bit less comfortable than a foam helmet, whereas a foam helmet is be a little bit pricier but has a lot more ventilation and be a little bit more comfortable. So with a hard shell helmet, you get basically a suspended hard exterior that protects your head with some foam on the inside for comfort. There are different types of hard shell helmets that are going to have varying amounts of foam. So you can see that this one has a little bit more, but they're all going to have that hard shell on the outside. With foam helmets, you don't have that hard shell on the outside. They're just made of foam, so they're a lot lighter. You can see that they have a ton more ventilation than you get with some of your hard shells. Hard shell helmets are going to be cheaper, but they're also going to be more durable than a foam helmet. These are really great if you're prioritizing durability and cost. So say if you're top roping or if you're doing a lot of just cragging, this might be a really good option for you. Foam helmets are a lot lighter and they're a lot more breathable. And generally speaking, they're gonna be a bit more comfortable. So these are really great if you wanna prioritize that comfort and breathability over cost and durability. These are a great choice if you're doing long multi-pitches or alpine climbing or mountaineering. So once you've decided what type of helmet you want, you'll want to find one that fits you properly. Proper fit is really important because if the helmet fits you, you're much more likely to wear it at the crag and wearing it is a good idea to keep yourself safe. So to put the helmet on, we'll go ahead and loosen up this dial in the back here. And I'm just gonna put it on my head like this so that it comes back to the middle of my forehead. From here, I can go ahead and tighten this dial till it feels snug and then buckle the chin strap. Hard chill helmets like this one are gonna sit a little higher on your head than you might be used to if you're normally wearing a bike helmet, but this is the proper fit as I can feel that the foam is touching the top of my head and it's tight in the back. A good way to check fit is just to move your head around and make sure that the helmet's not gonna go anywhere, especially if you're looking up or looking down. You don't want it sliding back on your head as you're scoping out the next move or looking down for footwork. So once you have the helmet on and it's the proper fit, you're ready to go. If you've had your climbing helmet for a little while, you might be wondering if it's time to retire it and get a new one. Check your helmet for any dents or cracks. Scratches and dings are fine, that's just gonna happen over time. But if you have any large dents in the top of the helmet or cracks in the hard shell, then it's probably time to retire. You'll also want to check the inside, make sure that all of the webbing is still intact and that the foam doesn't have any major damage to it. A good rule of thumb is that if you were wearing your helmet and it took a hit from a rock or anything else and you thought to yourself, I'm really glad I was wearing a helmet, it's probably time to retire it and get a new one. That's it for how to fit and choose climbing helmets. We have a ton of awesome climbing videos, so go ahead and check those out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you out there.